the first of the women's quarterfinals and it's Sloane Stevens up against the 16th seed Anastasia Servastova. This is a massive opportunity for both players. First set, Sloane Stevens to serve. Play. Well, I have a feeling that that's going to be the type of point we'll see today. I think it's very important for Sloane Stevens to use the angles off of the court. Sevastova has uh, this ability to stay well behind the baseline and get a lot of power back. So if Sloane wants to win, she has to angle the ball and then drive it through. Just miss that drive volley. That, that doesn't help to start like that, though. Let second service. Love 13. Oh, no question, Sam, that uh, Sloan's come out here. I'm pretty nervous. And it's, it's almost not fair that she hasn't played one match out on Ash. Well, that's what happens when you come in unseeded. Yep. Um, she has been seated at the US Open before the last three years. She's been kind of ranked in the 30s and a little higher than that. The previous season, wonderful run that she had. 2013, which left her part just outside the world's top 10. Low 40. This is a very relaxed start from Anastasia Sovastova, who is uh, moody on court, but very funny and witty and dry in her press conferences. Game, Sevastova. Well, Stevens a little uptight, it would seem. First game. Sevastova with the early break. Yeah, it's, uh, that first point, Sam, was huge. She had the opportunity to hit that swinging volley into the open court. It would have relaxed her because it was the right point. It was the right structured point and missed that early volley. And then all of a sudden, those early nerves. She's played a lot of big matches this summer, Sam, in the semis of Toronto, in the semis of Cincinnati, but in both of those matches, she started out quite nervously. And it's, it's understandable. I mean, it's been a long time since Sloane's been in these moments. Anastasia Sevastova to serve. have this feeling with these two yeah. they're, they're both team. flushing out the nerves it will be a very different match hopefully in a one or two games and different pressures coming into this quarterfinal from last year where she faced Caroline Wozniacki Fifteen or two hours plus watching her against Maria Sharapova. Stevens had seen any of that match. What would she have learned and 
how would that impact her approach out here? Well, she wouldn't have seen much of it because she was playing the same time. Let's see if I need to. Oh, that's true. Well, I can tell you that her coach, Kamal Murray, did, he's a, a big studier and he loves 30, to watch tape. So he would have studied all of her matches, not just the one against Sharapova. He would have studied all of them to see what his player needed to do. Sloan wouldn't watch much. She relies very heavily on Kamal's sight and what he sees on the tennis court. He writes down everything the night before and has to study it, and then they go the next day. perfect example of what I was saying before this match started that Sevastova used the drop shot beautifully against Maria Sharapova and for Sharapova she just doesn't have this foot speed I mean Sloan gets there so easily with such beautiful speed Sloan has so many gears and it feels like right now it's in about second gear. She's not quite sure whether to go to fifth gear yet. Uh, trying to feel her way into this match to be able to get a game under her belt will help her tremendously having not played out on Arthur Ashe Stadium. Yes. Sevastova is already giving her player's box Kanal Murray here. <laughs> He's a pretty feisty coach, Kamal. He's a great guy. He's building a $16 million non-for-profit tennis facility and education facility in the south side of Chicago, which if anybody knows Chicago, there's a very it's a lot poorer neighborhood of Chicago and he is bringing bringing the most amazing tennis facility to those kids. Advantage, Sevastova. Of Chicago. Yeah, understand uh, Billie Jean King is a huge admirer of uh, Kamal. He's a, an exceptional young man. Yes, is. absolutely. When Sloan got the injury, it actually allowed him to spend a lot more time sort of getting the foundation and everything going. And it's uh, about two months away from being finished and done. Oh, that is a horrible miss. Advantage Stevens. Jazio one when she game came out here a couple of days ago against Sharon Poivet. Very different pressures on Sevastova. Totally. Look, they've both got pressure on them, don't they? Because everybody expects, even though Sloan's not seated here, a lot of people expect her to win this match. Mm. So there's pressure on both of them, and we saw that early in this match. For Sloan, she's just 15 love. The key is staying in her lane today. <laughs> Playing within herself, stepping up when she has to, and letting Sevastova sort of 
explode down the other end. Self-destruct. Thirty love. Forty love. Stephen Sue. That was he's probably his seventh coffee for the day, just so you know. Exciting for him. She's playing her fifth event back. So it's starting at Wimbledon. First round there being up against some risk. Stevens is based on a little suspect. It must have been so difficult for her, for her, a woman, really tough to come back in the slam to start with, had to use a protected ranking, which gives you X amount of events a year that you can use your old ranking in. But to worry about, is that is my foot okay? Uh, is it going to hold up? So difficult to return from injury. Hi. Now that's out of the way. I thought 40, she played very well. In her opening match in Washington against Simone Hatt, the first yeah. set really showed us something. Uh, didn't have the fitness really to maintain it, but then wonderful run as you mentioned to the last four in Toronto, where she beat Petra Kvitova and Angelique Kerber before losing to Wozniacki, and then backs it up with a semi at the Western and Southern in Cincinnati. And she the game is very nicely here. So after a couple of breaks, we are on serve early on. Stevens leads two games to one. First set. Seats quickly, please, ladies and gentlemen. Any seat for now. Please take the first available seat. Thank you. Sometimes, Sam, I, I feel with, with Sloane, she's just like... Lovely. Like, seriously cool third gear, like, just cruising on the court. Like, there's no sense of urgency from her with the footwork or... It, she has that very calm exterior all the time, even when she's running up for a ball, and I think, get up there. But she has this such unbelievable speed, she doesn't have to look like she's running hard. That's where I think it's important today. Off the court, off the court. Don't Love try 40. and go big through the court because Sevastova actually loves that pace coming at her. And I think making her move into the court is vital for Sloane.
15-13. There's a lot to deal with, though. It, it's quite a potent mix that Sevastova sends down the court of spins, of slices, of loops, of dinks, of little toy shots. We have to concentrate. A talented woman, Sevastova, two years out of the game. She, as a teenager, she was in the world's top 50, won her first title seven years ago. Sloane Stevens was out on Ash. 15 14. I mean, this drop shot was unreal. Look, she could have gone round the post with that. It was such a good drop shot from Savastava, but excuse me with the foot speed from Sloane Stevens. 30 14. I mean, that would have been a clean winner against Sharapova. She wouldn't even have run for it. Let the service. Deuce. So that's to those a couple of players. Took that time out, I think those back injuries lost her passion for the game, but had to start from zero. Not too many wild cards when you're from when you're from Latvia. To have one to one Advantage Sevastova. She had to start back from zero at the Sharm El Sheikh ten thousand dollar event, which she came back and won, and it was a grind all the way through 2015 to get her ranking back up, back up just to outside the world's top hundred. And here she is, quarter final, second quarter final of the U.S. Open. Yes. You said that she just almost seems to be in slow motion. She seems to be so chilled out. Have there been times when there's actually it's spilled over into a lack of intensity for Sloan in some of her matches in recent years? Where yeah. She just hasn't got going. Yeah, absolutely. And there's no question about it. But Let you know, everybody deals with pressure differently. And is it because she doesn't want to win or try no it's just that's how someone is built i mean sevastava doesn't want to carry on like advantage a on the court. she doesn't want to carry on and yell at her box but that is her way of dealing with pressure and and sloan's is to just pretend to uh, just look like oh, it's fine You know, and I, listen, I can say she, she acts like a bit of a deal sometimes because I act like a bit of a deal sometimes. I, I wish I could have been able to control my emotions more, but it, it's just, it's your natural personality coming out on the court. And Sloan's is very laid back. Advantage, Stevens. Stevens leads three games to one. First set. It's a very good website to tell you about usopen.org, and it's your online home for point by point live scoring, 
and real-time stats and draws. So visit the official tournament site. Uh, you've got it, usopen.org. Sometimes when Sloan is hitting the ball big through the middle of the court, then Sevastova is actually redirecting 15 that shot well. So it's good for Sloan to always monitor what balls are being more effective. And the ones that are getting her off the court with the short angles are absolutely the ones that are working today. And then she can drive the ball through the court. Thirty love. If Sloan has days where she struggles with her intensity for Sevastova. If she gets outside the wrong side of bed, then it's all over very quickly. Thirty fifteen. I think the most impressive thing that I've noticed from Sloane Stevens over the last month, because she, you know, didn't play well at Wimbledon, not to be <laughs> expected to play well there after all the time off. She played horribly in world team tennis, which she played for the Philadelphia team. There were sets that she was taken out of the Did singles, and Taylor Townsend was put in. Taylor's obviously a great talent. So that's how badly she was playing world team tennis which is essentially first to five games. And then did play well in Washington and against Hallett, but my, oh my, in Toronto and Cincy, I saw a fighting spirit I have never seen from Sloan. Well, never easy is it from the first US Open quarter final. And Sam, I know that one of the things that Kamal was on Sloan about was she often gets up in games, 30 love, 40 15, and doesn't close the door, and that's what's happening here. Sloane Stevens's mother is also here in the players box uh, a little bit to the right of where Kamal Murray is sitting her coach and <laughs> he said there's an intensity there but you know what Kamal feels he has to be that intense with her because she's so relaxed he needs to be the one that gives her the energy about the mom. Her mom was a competitive uh, college swimmer. Advantage, Stevens. And so, and she, her uh, father, who passed away a couple of years ago, uh, was a NFL football player, so she has some wonderful sporting genes in her body, as do so many of these tennis players now on the tour. Extends her lead, 4-1, she leads first set. Stevens leads, break. four games to one, first set.
first of the women's quarterfinals in the Arthur Ashe Stadium, which is it's full, just bathed in sunshine. And it's eastern flank. So that's about one four. This is exactly. lovely, as I said, stay in your lane. And she's playing within herself. She's not trying to overplay. Oh. Savastava must feel like there's not a lot of places to get a free point right now. She is a proper tennis player, though. She was fascinating speaking after the Sharapova match. Until she was 14 she, uh, in, in winter. There's only one tennis club in the Lafayette where she's from. <laughs> but they, they play indoors on wood at a school. 15 30. Okay. With, with a meter run back. I mean, the zero facilities and then outside they play outside in the summer on the on the clay but very reliant on sponsors they're too and certainly not ideal conditions to become a professional tennis player so a lot, and she said it's exactly you know, all these years on it's still 10 years on it's still exactly the same in the little seaside town where she's from in that year listen they've got a french open champion and they've got somebody in the quarterfinals they must be doing something right of course, Ostapenko winning the French Open. One thing that the Latvians obviously having tremendous 30, success. 40. Speaking of success, well, there's uh, Sybil. And that is Sloane's mom taking a big, deep breath. I, I, I couldn't handle being a parent watching my kid play right now i'd be a bundle of nerves my heart rate would be at 200. it could be feeling like i was like about to have a heart attack watching my child play out there it must be torture for her another break point for stevens but just back to that you think about how well the latvian yes. women are doing but speaking of the women i mean the american women there could be four women's semifinals be from the United States, and we haven't seen that since uh, 85, oh. 95. Let me think. Do you know the irony, though? Kathy Ronaldo sat where you were sitting uh, four or five days ago, middle of the first week, and said, oh, we could have four semifinals. Incredible thing about Catherine Rinaldi saying about that, she was the last Advantage. of the semi-finals. The last time it happened in, I believe it was 85. I'm going to check my notes. It was either 85 or 95 at Wimbledon. Chris Abbott, Martina Navrilova, Kathy Rinaldi. I'm trying to think of the fourth one. Let me figure it out. Well, while you do that, Sivastava. Game, Sivastava. Very important service game. Stevens leads. Four games to two, first set. Take a guess. She might trainer. Have just asked for the trainer. Mariana Alves getting on physio. the floor. Absolutely. Asking for the physio.
just loving that angled forehand. And 15 love. I sit here watching Sloane, we've done this for many years, and the way she takes players off the court, pretty special. found it. I'll let you know. That's a little one, too. Come on, step out and first and get suspense. Well, I got three right. 15 all. Kathy Rinaldi, Martina, Chris, and Zena Garrison. 1985 at Wimbledon. The last time four Americans were in a Grand Slam semi-final. Stopped hitting the ball, Stevens, right now. Getting complacent, particularly 15, with that backhand. 15. This is where it's frustrating for me watching Sloan. It's that, not that sense of urgency to get up and really go after a couple of balls. She's struggling physically, Sylvester. I don't, know, I don't know what with. She's had all sorts of injuries in her previous career. Actually took her out of the game. But Stevens now may be 15, sensing that, 40. She, that her opponent is asked for the training. The brain suddenly goes somewhere else. Like, is she going to play? Is she going to default? What's she going to do? And then all of a sudden, you've lost complete and utter concentration on your side of the court. Well, a couple of chances here from a rather sort of uh, anxious looking Sylvester to get uh, back on, on serve in this opening set. Thirty forty. WTA trainer ready to go on court. If you come in on Sloan Stevens', Stevens. forehand, it better be good because not only does she hit it with power, but she has speed to burn to get over there and cut that angle off. No problem for Stevens. Two break lead in this first set. Stevens leads five games to two. First set. But he's now receiving a medical timeout. Difficult uh, for Stevens.
time. Well, I think by day nine we could we could we could all do, do a bit of treatment, couldn't we? Yeah. A bit of a massage. I mean, it's been a pretty hectic time that we we've had at this year's US Open. Right, so Vasva, let's hope she's as good as gold now, serving 2-5 to stay in this first set. Out. The it's tournament has 15 caught up line. on that, hasn't it? Well, it's interesting though, Sam, because that game was huge for Stevens, just to give her a bit of breathing room right now to still be able to be aggressive. One of the things that uh, Kamal Murray spoke about before the match, uh, when I asked him what he expected, he said that she has terrific anticipation skills, Savistova. So he wanted her to look for one more ball to come back, no matter what. <laughs> Expect the ball to come back. Fifteen, There's no doubt, Sam, for me, the American young women are pushing each other in these stages of matches and tournaments. Thirty all years. around the same age, Madison Keys, Sloane Stevens, Coco Vanderway, a couple of years older, but they're all vying for the spotlight now. And that Venus Williams. 40, 30. I think they've all finally stopped trying to live up to Serena and yeah. Venus. And it's just taken a few years for that to compute. Oh! Advantage Sevastova. Game Sevastova. Was a game that lacked a little focus and intensity from Steven. Steven Sleeves, five games to three. This is. But. This is at least not the same one that started this match. Rather, uh, the opening service went tense. With a few nerves, I think you can see that facially. Stephen serving for this opening set. Love the look up to her coaching box beforehand, she should not miss. But that's also worrying about Sevastova's ability to read the ball.
was a left lane. Mm -hmm. She was getting treated. Think about how difficult it must be if, she, if it is a problem. Pushing to the forehand, but also finishing on the backhand side. Paul Stevens wrapped up a tricky opening yeah, set. She has got one points. foot in the semi-final. Stevens takes the opener by six games to five. Tennis fans, this is Jenny Thomas. I spent 20 years playing this great event, and every time I stepped on the court, I was always ready to accept the challenge. I'm here now asking you to meet the challenge. Second set, Sebastian Bartosel. Oh! 15 love. Sebastian, who had a medical timeout after the second game of the first set, bravely uh, sticking out this. He does look rather gloomy, though. Problems with that left leg. <laughs> but it's important though, Sam, for certainly for Sloane Stevens to not worry about what's going on down the other end and really knuckle down here, not allow Sevastova to get off to an easy first game start here. Just wants to keep the pedal down if she can. Fresh perspective. Mm -hmm. a bit of time away from the ground as well. 
there's absolutely no doubt that it was a nightmare for her. She said, after a certain amount of time, I, I really miss playing. I really miss my friends. I miss being on the road and pushing myself in these moments. And her leg, she couldn't walk on it. That is definitely one of her best shots of today. But uh, Slime is pushing 15. herself around on one of those little wheelie things, you know, where you put your leg up. Uh, yeah, I saw I mean, her in Indian. Remember we saw yeah. her in Indian Wells. Oh, it was like that for months, like that. She couldn't, I mean, she could not do anything. So, a big life lesson. Game for Vassava. Grimly carrying on here. First Very game, second set. losing that opening set. There's a storm brewing with Sebastian, though, don't you? It's <laughs> part of the dark looks. I think, I mean, sort of you and I have both had enough operations between us. We've kept the surgeons busy over the years. When you can't do the normal things, and you know, it's, a, it's a struggle even to take a shower, for instance. It really is a wake up call. Yeah. Isn't it? And, then you're, and you're so happy you know, when you can finally stand up and walk around or you know, pick something up. Yeah. She's just happy that she can hold the tennis we have a, right a lot of players still in the draw that have been through uh, hell and lot. back yeah. this tournament. Madison Keys, two wrist yeah. surgeries this year. Petra Kvitova. Fifteen yeah, I think there's, uh, there's going to be, um, uh, I don't know who they can give a WCA Comeback Player of the Year <laughs> yeah, award exactly. to. I think they might have to sort of s split it up. Oh, that's brilliant. So that's a long way behind the baseline. Beautiful timing there from Sloane Stevens, but yes, I mean, you think about Petra Kvitova coming back from that devastating, I mean, awful incident in December last year. Sloane Stevens out with a terrible injury. Madison Keys, double wrist surgeries this year. So Vastava out with back problems and out for two years. Kaya Kanepi. Yes, what a nightmare. Qualified. What a nightmare she's had uh, in coming back. Good old Coco and uh, Pliskova, they've managed to stay relatively injury free. Venus Williams coming back with the Shogrins. I mean, these are players that have gone through adversity. From the beginning, Sam, it's just motoring along. One game on. Third Second gear, sense. maybe fourth gear every now and again. And Sloane Stevens has a really good ability when, when she's feeling good and not nervous to sort of up the ante when she needs to. And we've seen it throughout the summer with so many great wins against a lot of wonderful players.
absolutely perfectly played 50 point again with the angle off the court was ready for the short ball and closes down the line with forward momentum at the net do not go sideways go forward He's able to cut that off beautifully Spurt going on here from Sloane Stevens, just as she did to finish off Dominika Sibokova in the second round after dropping that middle set, and the same against Gerges in the last round. That was makeable. That the was deal. a forehand she would love to have back just didn't get the footwork organized enough to be able to hit it where she wanted to Fighting on, and we are on serve. Two, two games to one. one. Second set. The set even. Still work to do in the first of the women's quarterfinals, the winner of this match will play in for tonight's match with Miss Williams against Hector Kovita and after all the upsets and early goings on in this women's draw, it is it's certainly brewing up but nicely for Super Saturday.
a bit Lovely. of danger time here for Sloane Stevens. Doesn't want to have that down period of mental uh, inability to stay in this match. He needs to really focus early on here. My, I mean, this was a great little 15. drop shot off the drop shots from Stevens, but boy, she should have hit that as a volley straight down the line, letting it bounce, allowed Savastova to get back in the point, but still manages to win the point. She's, she's playing the long game. Yeah. Wearing Savastova's foot out or leg, oh. whatever it is. No, no, just... But lovely, isn't it lovely to see someone hit the wee drop yes. rather than fluffing about? You've got to be fast, though, to do that. Fifteen thirty. How fast is slow? Are we talking Venus fast, oh. Serena fast? Oh. oh yes. She's easy fast. Looks so casual, but then when she has to go, it's like she's like a sort of cheetah, explosive. She? she could have been a great hundred meter sprinter. Oh. She might have been she a better 200 meter sprinter. Because she wouldn't get going, it's would she? going, and then it's like, the boom, yeah. that last 60. Yeah. Yeah. She has unbelievable explosive power when she wants to move. Oh, those couple of steps when she are oh, just so precise and just so sharp. Oh, really worth just, just watching her. Don't watch the ball. Slice by slice. Variety of shot. It's so important. If you don't have the power, that was a little lucky to hit the tape. Even Sloan couldn't run that one down. You see in the background there her coach clapping through that whole point. No negative body language. Shit, what a chance here for Sevastova. Sevastova. Sevastova leads three games to one. Second set. It's that mental drop from Stevens when you win the first set. And you can feel it now. Don't forget you can stay connected to the US Open on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and YouTube. So don't forget to join the conversation with hashtag US Open. Last of it turned around to love Stevens box and sort of gave them a bit of a clap like, oh yeah, good for you. But you know what? This is fair. If you're going to put up a log, I am not going to try and miss this just because I'm worried about where you are. If I had that opportunity, I would do the same thing. Fifteen. So it's also very important for young kids out there to remember, hey, that's part of tennis. And if you're going to drop shot me and start toying around with the ball and you don't get a ball over my head, I'm going to tube you. 30, 15. Just sends the message. If you do it again, 
that could happen again. So it makes the drop shot even more difficult the next time, maybe when they run up, not quite sure about what to do. So it's all very important to play every shot. young woman Leah Park that's where she's from most of the time most of Latvia came back from set down against Maria Sharapova not too many players do that and win um. 40-15 Zing in that's uh, from Sevastova and just very quietly here. Sevastova leads four games to one. Lead. Second set. Having dropped the first. First set. Seven. Seven. Women's quarterfinal of this year's US Open. A little unexpected twist. More fans that have Arthur Ashe tickets. It's going to drift in now. I think they realize they need to get the party on out here for Sloane Stevens. It's, it's just a little flat. She does connect with the crowd, but she doesn't whip them up in a manner of Coco Vanderway or even Madison Keys these days. right now from Sloane Stevens about how aggressive to be and I mean, right now at 4-1 down she should absolutely just relax and swing out a little bit win or lose this set she has to feel good about herself going into the third and if she gets aggressive she may get back into the set quickly oh. and she stopped hitting the balls with the angles so 15 has to take Sevastova off the court with some angled forehands and backhands and then drive the ball through the court. She was doing that beautifully in the first set and has stopped doing that in the second. On the flip side, though, I, I do feel that Sebastian has sort of gone to the sweetie jar. It's a little bit more of a fix and dinks and drops out there. I'm not trading as much. It's very hard to keep the rhythm. That's where she has to step up and make it about her terms. Hey. Open the court up. Start looking to hit the ball and drive the ball with some velocity with your ground strokes. 40, 30. Don't wait for errors. She's waiting for errors to come. There was a lot more in the first set. 23 unforced errors for Sevastova. Only five in this set. When you think about 
youth. 18 unforced errors in the first set for Savastava as opposed to five. That must feel very different for Sloane Stevens now. What this she's not making errors. What do I do now? Turnaround out here. There's been too many histrionics or fireworks. It's just been all sort of arts and crafts on this very talented Latvian. Might be an idea for Sloane Stevens to throw up a few fireballs up above Beautiful. the shoulders of Sevastova. We know how well she directs the ball when it's hit at her quite hard. We saw that against Sharapova. She's now starting to hit drop shots and really yo-yo Sloane Stevens around the court. So some higher balls might be in the cards. Advantage Sevastova. This match is not being played on Swain's terms anymore. Third chance to break in this game for Sevastova. Yes. Back away trying to fall on the right serve. The ball was pulled in. See, that's Chase just too late. late that though, is just it? too late. I mean, she hits the return in the bottom of the net and then goes, oh, was the serve in? Like, if she'd made the return, she would never have queried that serve. And, I mean, it was Use. way in. Sebastian has two challenges. Two challenges. So many things like bothered me about it. Advantage Stevens. Sevastova leads four Sam, games she turned to around after that and looked Second at her sets. crew and said, come on, fight. And that is the one thing that has impressed me so much about Sloane over the last few months is the fighting qualities in matches that she didn't have three years ago. Not to say she wasn't a great player, but this is a different Sloane. Fifteen love. Impressive play there from Savastava. She understands also how big that last game was. Doesn't want to now 
get too negative herself. Heart. 30 low. You can see how much hotter it is today. Very humid, much warmer conditions that we've had here at the US Open this year. <laughs> and it's so warm today that the actual faulty fifteen effect. What, is, what does that mean? Though? They can take a break after the second set. Ten minutes. Yep. I don't think either of them will take it. They're in the Thank shade you. down there, so it's very different to the outside courts. Both sweating up a storm. I mean, look at Sloan's dress. They're, they're glowing. Stop glowing. Mm. glowing. Ah! A very good hole from Sebastian. She looks like a game Sebastian. player now. More the one that beat Sharapova New balls, a couple please. of days ago out here, and it's Sebastian. Sebastian leads five, five two games two to two. Second, second set. The set, Stevens. Love 15. Oh, must get the ball deeper if you're Sloan Stevens in the court, not allow the last of her to control the point. Fifteen. Do you know what that switch is to fire her up to get the intensity back when she sort of goes walk about in her matches, or that he's is he still trying to work Sloan out? I I think he's working her out. Fifteen thirty. One of the differences at the WTA tournaments, he has an opportunity to go out there in the match and he resets. This is what we talked about. This is what I wanted you to do. Let's go and fight. I need you to put every effort into this right now. And she needs that from time to time. So I'm sure he's yelling a lot of that stuff out as much as he can today without getting a coaching violation. And I can, I can hear his, that's the voice I can hear right now. Come on, Slime. Thirty. Very much on top of her at all times, not allow her to drop her. She drifts. Yeah, she, she drifts. Sebastian potentially two points away from leveling the match. A little bit 
like going on, on off the ball out here. 40 30. Did you, did you icy think? looks, did, icy looks. Did you think for a second she was going to try and tube her again here? Yeah, yeah long look down the court. We like that very much. That will fire up to stay in the second set for Stephen Tip. Moving forward. Game, Steven. Sevastopol giving her player's box once again a bit of a spray. Sevastopol leads five games to three. Second set. just one break that in the fourth game of this second set. Sevastopol hasn't been broken since she's got their opening two service games. And that was rather a long time ago now. This had a little Tabasco sauce on it, <laughs> this forehand. It was hot off her racket. <laughs> nope, that's where you have to have discipline. A wonderful shot there from Sebastian to get Sloan Stevens off the court. The discipline must go back cross court. Get yourself in, back into the point. Thirty fifteen. Forty fifteen. She hasn't hit a lot of big serves today to have got her cheat points, but that one was a good one. She wasn't even playing this event 2014. Only 15, what a waste of her to be out of the game. Two set points here for the Latvian. Ah! And we are game going the distance sets. here on Seven Ash. So fast of her levels up as she takes six the second set. By six One games set three. Three.
Final set. Stevens to serve. Stevens. Fifteen love. Twenty-four-year-old American certainly needs a, a reset. Drifting out of the second after a very good first set. An opportunity missed early in that point. 15 so hit a good shot, hesitated, and then decided to run in. She actually hit a very good backhand volley on it, but she should have been all over on top of the net, hitting a volley for a winner. Instead, ended up losing the point. So it must be brave early on here. Stevens cannot get into this you know, pushing the ball around the court too much with Sevastova. Let second service. Fifteen thirteen. Very few The second match is the first match in her sixth of this event. to get off to a third gear start here. Sevastova comes back, that's when Sloan has to pull the trigger, but Sevastova is that type of player that sort of lulls you into playing her type of tennis. And for Sloan Stevens, she must open the court up and then go for it. That is how she wins matches. You made such a good point midway through the second set, Stubbsy. That man on the tour, he can come on, he can remind her how to stay you know, in her lane out here. He's on the sidelines. Oh! So he's got to do it on her own. Again, what an important hold right at the start of this final set. First game, final set. Some, you know, she's done some very good post-match interviews and she's obviously been quite reflective on the Sloan she was before the injury and the operation and she said, you know, she said, before I was so emotional and everything always got to me and she says, now I realise I just play sport for a living and it's not life and death. But it takes something major taking you out of the game to get that perspective, to get that perspective. The, way, the phrase they like to use these days, personal growth, it just doesn't happen. Yeah, and, and you know, look, there's a, the word was going around a little bit of, as well. Hot! Was a bit entitled. 15 low. So they entitled to have better results. You, know, you have to work. I mean, look, just an enormous amount of money signing with Under Armour and some very well and off courts. But if you want to have results, you have to work really hard. It does not come easy. So for these younger players that sign great deals and doing very 15 made a lot of money already, 
You've got to be successful, um, these are the moments right now on a court where you have to dig deeper than your opponent. And Savastava will dig deep. She certainly does not come from the entitled world. That's the forehand that she sort of labours to. She could get up there half a step quicker and then really let the racket on. She just gestured, get up in the court. You so don't successful. If you don't win, you don't make a living. You're not getting any game to Zing on that surface. Doesn't get rip the ball. Very one game on. Game. Final six. Has been broken since the fourth game of the match. Now, well, while we're talking pounds, shillings and pence, or more like uh, dollars, dollars and dimes and quarters, so, to reach the last eight. That's for the loser. For the loser, yeah. To make the semis just shy of a million dollars. These entire purse list championships over 50 million for the first time in history. Just mind bending. Oh! Love of team. Love 13. really got behind so many of their women in this particular year's play because they've had a lot to cheer for and they are on tenter hooks right now for Sloane Stevens willing her through this match ah! just not 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 good 15 right 40. Now. I don't know if it's nerves you described it very well. Her way of dealing with pressure and nerves is almost to look very calm and very outwardly chilled out there. But underneath is a, is a, a hailstorm. What a moment for Sylvester. So nervous, but she's not really bringing the crowd in. She's and I think they need to be.
Carlos Ennis oh. out here. And she is ahead for the very the first time leads. in the match. She leads two by games to one. Final, Final set. Sets. Fifteen love. Savastava is just being the more aggressive player. I mean, bottom line. And if Sloane Stevens wants to get into this match again, she needs to step it up. Savastava is not love. making any errors anymore. Just pushing her opponent around the court. Three unforced errors only in this third set for Savastava. Six for Stevens. Sebastova did get a little tight against Sharapova, though, in the third set last time, last out. She was up three love in the third set and was in full control of the match. Pova was struggling 40, with a blister to her hand, was getting considerably more exhausted. And Sevastova went off the boil for two games. And she can ill afford to do that against a very informed Stevens. Let this is. Will the nerves start to take effect for the Latvian this time? Game, Sevastova. Sevastova leads. She's got three about, games what, to one. One more service game Final so to save her US Open run, which has been extraordinary. You could not have expected. She came back at Wimbledon, Sloane Stevens, after a year out. She would make the US Open for the final. have changed. That's the first couple of gestures to her player box too, right there. Sevastova misses a backhand up 15 three, the third absolutely turns around and once again starts muttering away. Like, that just gives your opponent so much hope.
13. Back, back unforced errors, back to back sprays to the player box. And this is where, if you saw in Stevens, you have to say, okay, I'm still in this. Thirty fifteen. Coach Ray Ruffles. Uh, I remember watching a Wimbledon final with Jana de Botnan when she fell apart against Steffi Graf. And Ray Ruffles said to me, "Great champions see a break of serve or this kind of a scoreline as an opportunity, and players that aren't used to it see it as a burden sometimes." Let's see how this pans out. Well, Kamal cannot stay in his seat. is just simply not missing. 30, 40. What was that? Something like 23 unforced errors in the first set, six in the second. Barely made one in this decide. Well, six in this decide, if that. Stevens has to hang on here. Keep the US Open dream alive. and as jumbled as a, the pattern on her skirt. Advantage Stevens. No, 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 no. That is not the play. Game point, good serve down the tee, open the court up, hit your ball. Do not play the type of tennis that suits your opponent. She's got away from the game, hasn't she? Stop hitting the angles. Let's first it. That is the one rule change. Right out of it, they change for let's and serves. I'm with you. Good. Band of two. Hit it, Sloan. Hit your way into a US 
Open semi-final. That will be the message from the player box. Advantage Stevens. Oh, look at the depth on that forehand. Look at the racket head speed. And that is in slow motion. Incredible. tickets today on this Arthur Ashe Stadium to draw on a first American into the semi-finals but Stevens has work to do well this is what happened the other day against Sharapova on that one game where she lost serve, she double team. faulted. And she hasn't hit a lot in this match. That's one of the best volleys I've seen Sloane Stevens make in her career. How big was that? has re-entered the building. She's been away for a while. We've got chances to level here. Beautiful. What a backhand down the line. Incredible kick serve as well that took Stephen so far 40. off the court with the courage to go for that shot. Please look at the tennis ball at this one. Tell you Kamal Murray there, her coach Three looks calm, but trust old. me, the final break is at about 170. What a game that was from Sloan Stevens. And Sam, how big is the crowd going to be now for the end of this match? Add Stevens.
15 low. It's amazing how Sevastopol just in the previous game before this one just started getting so upset at her box at 3 1 up. And how quickly now things have changed. Well, Mar will know that it's not just this match, is it? It's this whole women's draw with so many big names going out. So many women's you know, this tournament this year. There is such an opportunity for someone to just go and grab a Grand Slam title. You've got to win these kind of matches. has to concentrate on the first serve though Sam because in the match she and set she's really been hurt on the second serve yeah. that was a good serve right on the Right on the line, only 85 miles an hour, but must concentrate Did on you? getting the first serve in the court. She's only winning 33% of the second serves in this set. 35 for the match. She's winning 71% of the points when she gets the first serve in. Shot she wanted, hit the angle, threw Sevastova out of the court. And did not finish the point. Great points once again for the Latvian on the Stevens serve. Oh! I'm afraid it's a one one game, Sevastova. Sevastova. Up New break, balls please. once more in this final set. She leads. Sebastian four leads. Games to three. Four games to three. Final set. Nice. Music down, please. Thank you so much. The music, thank you. Oh. 15 love. 
see a very different Sevastava now, jumping around like a jackrabbit. No problems with that leg now. Drag the ball off the court with some angles, particularly to the back end where Sevastava has to take one hand off the ball and then drive the ball through the court. That is how she wins this match. Sevastava to go for that ball down 30, the line, wrong 40. footing Sloane Stevens, but Sloane Stevens again trading too much pace through the middle of the court. Let her service. Well, Sam, this court is a lot slower than it has been in the past, so that big ball through the middle is not as effective. Please. She's got it. Now she got it. Sloan is back in business. Final set. An age. Oh, my Drama on our set. This is just the first women's quarterfinal. <laughs> goodness knows what we're going to see tonight and over the course of tomorrow. This is a great opener, though. For all. Final set. Tricky shots against Sevastava. She reads the ball off the racket so well, and that is not where Sloane Stevens is as comfortable as her opponent today.
15 oh. extra arm if you're Sloane Stevens. The deal. Is the move the angle and that time rather than wait for it and then go for the winner came forward beautifully and that was not an easy volley for a two-hander backhand player to make Sam too, the matches that Sloan's played over the last few weeks have been long and tough just like this. This is definitely a step up because it's the US Open. But that could be a difference maker here. She can tap into all those matches over the summer. Advantage Stevens. She might just be the calmest person out here, Sloane Stevens. Games to four. Final six.
Jane Stevens may have only played 16 matches in her comeback after a year out. All the ones that have gone the distance, she has won. Fifteen Sixteen seat in that, yeah. She's a tricky customer. She is. She's not going to make this too easy. in the comeback over the distance. As you mentioned, Stubbsy again, so you has won all these tough matches this summer. Well, she's probably hoping you just didn't give her the commentator jinx. No, we can't do that. Okay, you're taking that back. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a fine line, isn't it, Sam, when you get up by 40 and so oh. close? Do you make your opponents play or do you be, be aggressive? And so I'm just trying to make Sevastopol play, but stepping up to the plate is the Latvian. Keeping the crowd well out of this game. Oh. 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 Your light from Sevastopol. Oh. Game. Just Sevastopol. pulls up a little wonder shot. Five wins for Stevens. Final set. What a fascinating final set. <laughs> Getting their money's worth on Ash this afternoon. Love with Some nerves coming in there. This one has barely hit a double fault today. They both come in. So final set from the opening game. And that man is still to hold. Sloane Stevens, of course, has been in a semi-final before at the Australian Open. Will that be also a factor that helps her in these moments? Sevastova never through to a semi. players Sam that can hit that 30, angle. 50. so many of the women hit beautifully hard through the court but don't have that angle shot and Sloan has both Stevens leads six games to five. Final set.
time. Fifteen low. How much Stevens needed that first point. Don't forget she is six and oh to come back when the matches have gone the distance. She has really toughed out some difficult ones in this American summer. That's a fabulous relaxed serving from both players under in 30 incredible low. intense moments. Without being arrogant, Sebastova is well aware that she's a hell of a tennis player. She knows this game. She knows how good she is. I mean, that's unbelievable. 6-5 in the third. You hit a faulty, amazing drop shot like that that drags your opponent literally to the other side of the court. These two are playing beautiful yeah. tennis. <laughs> Game, Sevastava. Okay. Well, after four breaks. Six games all, final set, five One way or the other, maybe. Fair enough. Let's go to a break now. Each player now receives one additional challenge. Sit back and enjoy. One zero, Stevens. Ah! One on. Very reluctant to go to the chase review as Stevens. If you're Sebastian, is there any one side you want to direct traffic? Is there any one shot you want to play? Not really, or just what's comfortable for you right now. There's no weak, there's no obvious weakness with either of them. Play your strengths. That is an example Two, of one, playing your strength. Stevens. The ball is there. The angle is there. Hit it. And what she stopped doing for some unknown reason, maybe nerves, tension, whatever, she stopped doing it in the second set. Direction. First service. The Vastava challenge the call on the right side. 
First service, Sebastian has three challenges remaining. I've always felt like a microcosm of life. <laughs> that's, that's very deep. I believe we've been sitting here for 2 hours and 22 minutes. Just being able to let go of things. Being able to trust yourself. Like, just, just a story in itself. A third set tiebreak. chase review of the match very close very close even Sebastian praying just Ooh. out the lines real Steven says three challenges remaining very good job this afternoon Another one, swing, one set all. six games all, three points all. It doesn't get any tighter. Steven. Three points like that are like Christmas and birthday all at the same time. Let the service. She put a little extra mustard on that first serve. Sebastian by challenge the call on the left serve. The ball is put in. It's a little late. Challenges. You can get any more tents out there. Oh. Oh.
Marie Stevens. Stevens just inching her way forward. Five would have given to Stevens have an inch higher on that ball. Everybody's heart stopped to watch where that ball would land. Even Sevastova can laugh. So, four mini breaks back on serve in this final set tiebreak. points for Sloane Stevens. These, thank you. She's done it! And we may have just entered the Sloane age. She was sitting on her couch at home watching the US Open, laid up with injury. You couldn't have imagined what she has been through, what her team have been through. Oh my goodness, and here she is in the US Open semi finals. I honestly cannot believe how well Simon Stevens is handling these moments. And for this young lady, two quarterfinals back to back at the US Open. How disappointing to lose this match today, but what an effort. Battling the crowd and her opponent. It's Sloane Stevens. She grew up today. This was another huge step for her in her comeback and in the possibility of her career and where this could take her. Take out Maria Sharapova in the last round. A lot to be proud of. But here's Sloane, she's with Mary Jo. Sloane, congratulations. <laughs> Describe what it means to be in the semifinals of the US Open for the first time. Oh man, I, I'm getting teary-eyed, I can't. I think your coach is too. <laughs> I think he's probably crying. <laughs> um, this is just incredible, honestly. When I started my comeback at Wimbledon, I. I could have never even dreamed of something like this happening, having these results, and then making the semifinals of my home slam, my favorite tournament. Um, it's indescribable. After dropping the second set, you get down the break, almost two breaks, get down another break at 4-3, and then it goes to a tie break. What made the difference at the end, that final push? I just told myself to keep fighting. Um, I've been playing so well and so consistent, and I've just been staying so calm on the court. And I knew if I just stuck with it and I just played my game and I continued to stick in every point, I was going to have a chance and an opportunity, and that's just what I did. And how much did this crowd help you? Because they were living and dying with every point at the end. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You were so awesome. Thank you. You talked about the time off. You started hitting balls in May. Were there ever, was there ever a time where you had doubts that you'd be able to get back to this level? Yeah, of course. I, like a month ago, I, before I started you know, winning a lot of matches, I was really worried because I was worried about my protected ranking and not having enough tournaments and not being able to play. And there was just so many things that I was worried about. And once I just realized that 
I have it good. My life is good. I play tennis and I have fun every day. Um, that just relieved a lot of stress. And I was finally able to play and play loose and play my game. And then, bam, here we are, semifinals. Bam is right. And finally, Sloan, you're the first American through to the semifinal. Three others are coming behind you. What does this mean for American tennis? How encouraged are you? for the final few days of the U.S. Open. Man, I'm hoping we can make it four. How awesome would that be, you guys? Seriously. Um, and I, I mean, this is pretty amazing. I, you know, playing with Maddie and Coco and Venus. I mean, Venus is our leader. And I'd have to say our Fed Cup captain has to be pretty proud because we have a pretty deep Fed Cup team, I'd say, this year if we're playing in the finals. So I would say so. Yeah, I think, you know, this is amazing. And I hope there's four Americans in semifinals. All right, Sloan, congratulations, great effort. Best of luck in the semifinal. Thank you. Patrick? Well, bam, she's got Team USA off to a mighty fine start. And Stubbs is yeah. in the well, we saw it in as well. It's not long after her coach. Hobbling around on that contraption she had to keep that right foot off the ground. I mean, you've got to have a bit of a lump in your throat when you see <laughs> this wonderful run that she's made here in New York. Here we go, Arthur.